Lisa and I'm Lauren and this is Fuck Call Friday and today we're gonna walk you through the steps of vaccinating for Marix. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We are. Okay. okay. So there are a few steps that are essential um, when vaccinating for Marix. Unfortunately the only way to get the Marix vaccine is in 1,000 and 2,000 doses. So yes there's a lot of ways um, but we vaccinate for Marix and it's a personal choice. We won't go there, but we're gonna walk you through the steps. So, um, important to do healthy day old, um, but we've waited sometimes, what, two, three days? Yeah. And they hatch at different rates too, so you have to take that, in, especially right. when we're doing them in, you know. Right, so you're not always, always gonna be able to do day old, but the important thing is, is to not expose them to um, the Merrick's vaccine. So keep them, keep them separate, keep them clean, um, and keep yourself clean when you're dealing with your adult chicks. So, um, your vial, it's a live vaccine, which means that it sheds, your dilutant, um, important to have alcohol wipes and syringes. So, the first step is to remove the metal outer seal. You're going to, I'm gonna have you hold that. Mine is my holder. So you're going to take um, out three mLs of the dilutant, and it can get a little foamy. So just make sure you have a nice clear syringe filled with three mLs of the dilutant. You're going to pierce the middle of the Merrick's uh, vaccine, and your dilutant will just sort of go in as it did. Take your syringe out. I'm gonna have you ever so gently roll that. So just sort of gently mix it up. Um, you don't wanna mix it vigorously because then you'll get bubbles and it's difficult to uh, get the, the vaccine out. So the next step, which is really, really, really important. You're gonna take your empty syringe and about three mLs of air. Are we mixed up? Up. So, in your syringe or in your vial, you want to hold this, and then that way we can show. You're gonna go right in the middle, barely penetrate the stopper, and your air goes into the vial. And this is important because it breaks the seal. So, with the syringe still in place, we're going to turn our vial and take out the dilutant with the vaccine. And if you do this properly, you should get it out in one try. Look how good you are. And since I'm one armed right now, I'm gonna have you hold the syringe. And you hold it, I'm gonna pull it out. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Don't come with me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was on. Okay, do we have anything left? No. So you may have a little left. There's um, nothing in there. But there's nothing in there. So, are you going to put that down and hold this back up? I was looking. Okay. She was looking. <laughs> so now you're going to take your live vaccine, go into your dilutant, and expel the vaccine and the dilutant back into the dilutant bag. Okay. So Lauren's gonna mix that up ever so gently. So now you just need to mix the vaccine with the dilutant. Um, turn it around a few times, up and down. You don't wanna shake it, but you want it to be nice and um, mixed up. Like Vanna White over here. Mm -hmm. So we are doing 20, kind of gross in the bag. Two chips. It comes in the bottles too. It comes so. in the bottles too, but I, I don't know why. I like using the bags. I just think it's easier to um, manipulate, especially if you have a holder. So we're gonna do 22 chicks. Um, we have a 29 gauge needle, which we're gonna use for- Is this 29? There's 24 chicks. No, we're doing 24 chicks, but we have a 29 gauge needle for the little ones, the bantams. Mm -hmm. And then this is a 22 gauge needle for the bigger ones. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get our syringes ready, and if we're all nice and mixed up, 
Go ahead. All right. You're going to take out, I need my glasses back on, 0 0.2 ml. So not 2, 0 0.2. So it's a teensy, weensy, weensy little amount. And honestly, you just count two little lines. If you're not sure, double check. But it's, I don't know if you can see that, you can't. but it's just two little lines on the syringe. It's a tiny amount. So get all of your vex or all of your syringes ready. And when you're ready, you start vaccinating. So we're gonna get our syringes ready, get our chicks, and we'll show you the process of injecting. So here we have our first chick. Um, important to use a sterile needle. Take an alcohol white pad. We just get these at CVS um, or wherever. Wipe the area that you're gonna vaccinate. Very, very important to stay away from the middle spinal cord. You wanna vaccinate the lower third part of the neck and away from the head. So while Lauren holds her, I'm gonna pull her skin up. I'm going to go the lower third part of her head, neck, I mean, gently insert the needle. You wanna pull up a little to make sure you're not getting a vein, which I don't and plunge right in. So when you're finished, there should be a tiny little round pocket where you see the vaccine go in. Oh, oh my geez. God, that was horrible. <laughs> She's finished. <laughs> so with every chick, um, very important to wipe their necks with the alcohol pad and use a sterile needle. With the needles, you can get two to three vaccines per needle. Um, after after about the second or third one, I, I pitch them just because they seem to get dull. So we're gonna do one more. Well, we're doing actually 22 more, but we're gonna do one more for you. So again, you wipe with, the, with an alcohol pad. The white ones are easy because you can see the veins. So you can see her little veins sort of in there. Take your vaccine. Away from the head and plunge. Ta -da! Ta -da! So for the first time, if you're doing this, what I did my first time uh, was I took my first hatch of chicks and I brought them to my vet and I said, show me how to do it. So if you are not comfortable doing it, um, you can always take your first batch to the vet. Uh, my vet charged me, I don't know, two or three dollars per chick, but it was well worth it for me to see somebody do it. Um, he even let me do a few on my own, so I had, I felt more comfortable. And, uh, of course, it's impossible to do on your own. You really do need two people. Make sure you have a hold on the chick, too. I have them cupped around above their wings, and you have to hold them pretty tight because they're going to jump, and you do not want them to jump into the needle. Yeah, they don't like the feel of the needle so much. I think they don't like I being don't held on them. anything. Yeah, or that you're pulling up their neck skin. Mm -hmm. That too. And when you take the needle out, try and do it sort of slowly. Um, plunge the the virus or the virus, the vaccine, all the way into their neck. Um, try and hold it there for even just a millisecond uh, and gently pull it out. Otherwise, you're pulling the vaccine out with the uh, with needle. So that's it. That's how you vaccinate them. Um, they'll probably feel a little sleepy afterwards, so don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. Like that. Um, the other important thing to remember is that this is a live vaccine, so follow the instructions on how to dispose of it. Um, the instructions say to burn it, burn the vial, burn the vaccine. Um, so I guess if you just like do a little campfire and throw it all in there, yeah. um, then you're safe. You do have a limited amount of time yes. with this. You only have about, what, two hours? Two hours. Two hours to do it. And so we're only doing a few chicks. If you are doing 40 or 50, make sure you keep the vaccine in an ice bath uh, and that, that retards the growth of 
um, the vaccine dying. So two hours. Two hours. Two hours. All right. So that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you vaccine check. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.